Be my mother if you know. Yeah, right. I'll have to put mine aside. Right. Are we ready, boys? We're rolling. We're rocking and rolling. Um, well, this is it. We've finally got to the uh, chance where we've got to BBM Talks of Championship in a pub. And tonight we are, or this afternoon, isn't it, really? Yeah. Uh, we're at the Navigation Inn at Baron Saw. So, uh, watch this, and if you're in the area, come down, have a drink, mention BBM Talks of Championship, and it makes me feel brilliant. Um, <laughs> That's self-promotion, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, what I want to do is actually get this to uh, grow and grow, and then we can go to places, and then the crowd can come in and watch behind and actually contribute <laughs> to the conversation. Uh, in this episode of BBM Talks of Championship, we've got uh, Pedro, Mike and Jono, and obviously me. Machine's not here, is he? Where's no. he I think it's, uh, it's school time, isn't it? GCSE. Oh, right. Well, we're in a pub, so you're not allowed in. You'll have to have a meal to eat <laughs> and drink, will not you? How did his date go? <laughs> oh, I don't yeah, think yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what he was on doing the, last time. On YouTube. Uh, you know, what's his private life. Um, so anyway, in this episode, we'll be talking about the midweek games and the upcoming games this weekend. Um, a few people have asked us about uh, chatting about the teams in the lower half of the division, so uh, we'll start with Derby. Lower <laughs> half? Midway, uh, mid-table, I think. Yeah, Derby, have, um, they play QPR at the week, uh, at the, uh, during the midweek. Uh, I hear you went down, Ped. I did, I went to Loftus, or the uh, Prince, what is it, what's the name of the stadium now? It's af- named after that lad, isn't it? It's not Loftus what? Road. Oh, the, the pop singer Prince. Prince. No, no, uh, the, young Prince. Was the young player that was on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Was yeah. yeah, yeah. So they've named it after him, haven't they, for the uh, for the season? I think. Oh, so nice touch. Nice yeah, touch. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Loftus Road's there. always one of the grounds I've always wanted to go. Yeah, yeah. Chance. I think I've been for many years. But it's one of the of housing. It's yeah, like literally kind of mm-hmm. old, yeah. old school, like small, mid- kind of closely contained. You know, kind of good atmosphere. Uh, uh, if there'd have been a lot of fans there, but uh, yeah, they, and they have something a lot. to play for. Well, that's it. Um, Both of you have got but, really nothing to play for, have you? What did um, you make of the game? What do you make of Mr. Rooney? Because it was his pass or lack of pass, completed so, pass. I mean, it makes it so we've lost three 0 pretty much every time we've been to London this season. Um, so there was three, three goals, goal. but we only lost two one. So uh, <laughs> um, it was uh, it was it was an okay game. I don't, it, it didn't feel that intense. There wasn't uh, much to play for, no. other than. I didn't mid-table. really play apart from his. Uh, so um, I watched the highlights I mean, on YouTube, so you get to yeah, see about yeah. two or three minutes. Yeah, look, I mean, clearly, yeah, he gave, he gave the ball away, but I'm not, not going to criticise him because no. he is. He's made a difference to us. Yeah. He, his passing pretty much. Do you not think it's is, too late for him though, to like, come in this, this late in the season? Do you think he would have been? Well, he has made a difference to us, and we look we look better with him in. But um, yeah, hopefully, uh, I mean, I mean, with where we are, aren't we mid table? And, and we've got a game on the fourth of April to look forward to. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Obviously, John's a Leeds fan, folks. <laughs> yes. uh, and Mike's a Leeds fan. But so. I'd say Rooney has definitely made a difference. Is it? Is it? Do you think he will attract level? players to Derby for next um, year? Do you think like uh, a player who's coming to the end of yeah. his time in the Premiership might think, oh yeah, I'm a Derby? We're not looking for that kind of player, though. No. we're building through the youth. Yeah, and I think uh, you know those young players having somebody like him around is, is making a difference for them. On the uh, pitch or in the nightclub? Uh, <laughs> Will he be there? Do you think he'll be there at the start of the season then next season? Yeah, I know he's contracted, but that doesn't yeah. mean anything. Oh, these I think days. he will. I think he's. I think he's yeah, put yeah, his seems, genuine he seems When all, when all yeah, yeah, Rooney really seems to be a loyalish kind of player nowadays, doesn't he? I think he's. You know, he's. He's signed his contract. Yeah. I think, yeah. You know, I don't, there doesn't seem to be any rumours that he. Do you think he's going to be manager before the before long? Do you think that's what it's set up for? I don't think he is management material really. Um, uh, I, I mean, maybe, but I don't think he's there as a manager. You know, yeah. he, kind of, he, he, he wants to play. He's playing every minute, you know, and he's he's taking all the free kicks, corners, and yeah. uh, and spreading right, the ball right. around. And um, you know, it's it's not getting around the pitch maybe like he would have done in the past, but it's it's good to say. But he's yeah, it's definitely made a difference to us. You know? <laughs> Derby play um, everybody on the top five, six before the end of the season. Is that right? Um, I think well, we've got to play. Us, well, we played Fulham, didn't we, last week? Yeah. Um, which was a good game, actually. Really enjoyed that. Um, and we were unlucky to come away with a point there. Their keeper got man of the match, didn't he? Who else is up there? Brentford, we got to play. So yeah. basically, you can do us a favour. We played <laughs> pretty much everybody <laughs> in the bottom <laughs> half. So, and we've got I hate to say it, we're relying on Derby. 
Yeah. And uh, well, it makes feelings when we uh, got a point against Fulham, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, let's let's move on to Forest because um, you beat Dor- uh, you beat Cardiff. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, but, uh, solid win, and that, that uh, is pushing the pressure on Leeds and <laughs> West Brom. So, so were you happy with the performance? Yeah, fantastic. Um, I mean, our results in Cardiff are not particularly great. I think in the last 10, 10 games against them, we've lost nine and drawn one. So. You are going to be my stat, are <laughs> No, no <laughs> just a few things. Um, but yeah, it was a great performance. Uh, solid. Yeah. Didn't look in doubt. I think we could have done with being a bit more comfortable, getting a few, taking yeah. a few more opportunities. Yeah. But we actually created more opportunities than we have done in previous yeah, games. Yeah, they did. I mean, I watched the highlights because it's, you know, it's just the easiest way to do yeah. this. <laughs> I ain't got a lot of time in my life at the moment. Uh, but Forrest really did look quite good, didn't they? Yeah, we looked, we looked strong. But then... QPR over the weekend. Mm. We were poor. Yeah. We literally were chasing the game. They came. They didn't offer anything. They just sat back and they tried to do what we did. Yeah. And they just came to. They came. They didn't come to win. They came to get a point. Yeah. The fact they got a point, the goal first, meant we had to chase it, and we just couldn't. Yeah. Just couldn't do it. And I think you take that result. You look at the West Brom result. So again, we didn't really set them up. We didn't create much, but yeah, we got to. We got a point from there. That refereeing was horrific. Yeah. I won't, go, I won't yeah. go back into that. I want to say I've moved on from that. Um, but you put that those into account. Those sort of we're losing there. We lost to Birmingham. We dropped points against Reading with two late goals. All of a sudden, you, we've got something out of those games. Mm. We're in second, not yeah. Leeds, yeah, comfortably. But that's not where we are. Yeah. Had you asked me at the start of the season, we'd be guaranteed top six. I'd have snapped your hand. Yeah, definitely. So it's a bit like Leicester saying, "No, oh, you've been guaranteed top four, and I'm like pissed off now. Unless we drop down to third. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, say look, solid performance. We're getting picking up results. It's what eleven games to go. Yeah. We've got Borough on Monday night. Again, Borough away. Not an easy game because yeah. they're fighting for their lives. Yeah, I want, I want to talk about Borough later on. Um, did anybody see the uh, the scrapping between? Is it Bakuna and Patterson? Have we got an option you heard about uh, it? Option oh, is that at the end of the game? Yeah, they kind of squared up. Two Cardiff players yeah. squared up yeah. to each other. Uh, and they, uh, I saw. I saw it. But, uh, to be fair, I didn't really pay much attention to it, so no. I just sort of blanked it off because it didn't affect us. No. <laughs> no, but it's just seems funny. It's just like like Neil Harris is in the Cardiff uh, yeah, yeah. Cardiff manager was saying you know they could cash in on promotion or get into the playoffs and rep, rock the boat. So us and Cardiff have got the most wins from having less than fifty percent of the possession really? in the in the championship. So it was really bizarre to see that the two games that we played when we played them, we've actually gone out and played. Yeah, we're not used to playing, so it was, it was yeah. a bit different for us to yeah. see. So maybe. Bit of, I'm, I'm yeah. a bit of a manmosity there with the team. There might be, I think there's probably something there. I think uh, Cardiff have had a bit of a run and I think that's it, party's over. Yeah. Blackburn seem to have popped up from nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, they seem to be picking up results, no one's watching them. And but I, they, they, they have, you know, this is a, it's just... Teams are picking up results and then and then dropping. Yeah, this, no is, you know, like nobody, no. this, this is the story of the championships every year, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it happens every year. People, clubs are playing well, gaining points, and all of a sudden they just die off again. I mean, the point John makes, but you know, so last time I spoke on this, we were we had, we had been eleven points. Well, clear. Pedro, we're giving you a digging. Yeah, <laughs> we, were, we were five points clear or whatever at the time. Yeah, and, and then. Two weeks later, it was goal difference. Yeah, yeah. And now it's five points again. Again, so it's yeah. you know, so it's certainly an entertaining league, isn't it? Well, entertaining. I think, is one it. I think yeah. you know what? I think if we we are successful, we, there is an opportunity for us to leave. I don't know if I want to. I yeah. miss it, but you do. Well, you I've got to be in the land. I don't want you to leave because I want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> and if you two go up, I'll be here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 God bless the points, you God bless you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. So, uh, yeah, moving on to Leeds because they yeah. are my next team on the list. Uh, you get Borough a kick, and I watched your highlights as well. They battered Borough, didn't they? they well, we, we, I think I, we had three one nils in a row, and yeah. that was probably the least convincing performance for a 1-0 yeah um, we did have better chances than them although they did hit the bar um, we missed a shed load of chances yeah you did you were hitting the we, bar and everything. Well, they had a couple of chances yeah well, didn't they? but um, but we ground that results quite a physical game mm. I don't think it, I, I think Forest would beat Middlesbrough I don't think it would be an easy game yeah Consider, you know, but Middlesbrough are you know a team definitely in poor form at the moment um, yeah I can't understand it it's like he came in, Jimmy, old Woodgate, and you were thinking, like, he's going to do something here. I really wanted him to do well, because I do like Jonathan Woodgate. But he's just like... Is it Robbie Keane, his assistant as well? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. probably it, then. Yeah. yeah. But if, if you look at that, was it when Monk took over um, yeah. the year when they came down, he spent a fortune, didn't he? 
absolute fortune, brought in big players, big money, sort of took some belonger from us for like 15 million, he's on 50 odd grand yeah. a week in the championship, and now they're fighting at the bottom. So I don't reckon there's the money there anymore because they won't be getting the parachute payments anymore no, they because they've been down for three years, haven't they now? Would you think they should stick? Sorry, you go God. ahead. Well, I, 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 you know, I like Woodgate from his yeah. Leeds connections. That's what I was, yeah. I think, I think um, you know, he's a cultured player. Yeah. I don't know, you know, it's a big, Middlesbrough, one of those clubs, aren't they? There's a, I think there's always an unrealistic expectation of Middlesbrough yeah. from their fans as to yeah. how good they should be. Do you but think they should stick with him, Woodgate? You know, because I, I would get yes. If I was a Middlesbrough fan, I'd probably be looking for somebody else. Yeah. Is he going to solve the problem sacking him though? No, yeah, I don't I know if uh, we're going to talk about Blackburn. But the thing, the thing about Blackburn and where they are is it's Tony Mowbray. How yeah. long has he been there? Two or three years yeah, now. Yeah, well, well, steady shit. Kind of they spent some money again. Yeah. So, I mean, they've bought um, Berriton from us for seven million. They bought some. They bought another player, and they picked up. A couple of old, oldish players, haven't they? Got down in there now as well. Yeah, he's doing that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So and that mean, Armstrong, is it? Yeah, it's Rodwell was there last year as well, wasn't it? I don't know. For some reason, I've got a soft spot for Woodgate, and I would like to see him do well as a manager. In well, I'd like him to do. I'd like him to do well on Monday. I think if you can turn it around from Monday on, yeah. yeah. it should, yeah. should be okay. <laughs> they frightened there, Mike. They <laughs> frightened us there. No, I just think it'd be nice if you got me. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Fear involved. Yeah. It's not. It's not unheard of. It's not. It's not. It's not unheard of. It's not unheard of. So I watched a bit. I watched a bit of that Middlesbrough. Not all of it. Yeah. But it seemed very frantic. <laughs> It was. Oh yeah, some of the clearances. And stuff I mean, at least just hundred miles an hour. Yeah, at least I think I think what what Middlesbrough did try and try to do, which is the teams that have been successful against Leeds, try and press the team. Yeah, and Leeds press Don't let them everybody, play. and they press us even more, and and that made it a hundred mile an hour game. It was it was uh, it wasn't good to watch really. Yeah. Any team that's beaten Leeds this year, and they just. As soon as they've beaten Leeds, they've dropped points afterwards. Like yeah. they've gone on a really bad I'm, run. I wouldn't know Stato. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the big Stato. I know. We lost nine in the league and, and a couple in the cup. And yeah. uh, I think it's Fulham and Arsenal have drawn the next game. Everyone yeah. else has lost the next. Yeah, game. well, we have. Yeah. <laughs> Borough. I've made a note that Borough and Ta uh, are winless for ten games now. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So I, we saw them earlier in the season, about October time. And I think they were. I thought they were the worst team that they yeah. had seen. I said exactly um, the same. And, and said exactly they, they were poor defensively. Um, they didn't create anything and, and just weren't competitive. And then they went on that run, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and now aren't they fourth from bottom now? Oh, well, I think after the weekend's results, they could be yeah. bottom three. If they, yeah, they could be bottom three. They're fourth from bottom, and they have got the worst form in the last six games. Five, I do apologise, folks. I've not printed the bloody league. Um, it's all right. The next worst is Hull, who we play on there. Uh, At one point, they were the fourth. Fourth, yeah. right? I was going to yeah. say, yeah. Yeah, Hull are up. Is it? Uh, but they've sold Hull. Yeah, but they sold all yeah. their best players in January and haven't replaced them. Yeah. So basically, Borough uh, fourth from the bottom on goal difference. Yeah, and look at yeah. their, look at their, and we're, their current Wigan, form. Barnsley, and Luton are all picking all points. So That's insane. Winning, yeah. Wigan, Wigan get Barnsley get a point. Barnsley get a win or Wigan pick up a point yeah. they're in the bottom three yeah. Yeah. and that's it isn't it and then it's you know Sunderland oh, I know we, I know we always say no, no club's too big to go down but they are a big yeah, club they are. and I don't know if going down you, you yeah. can put Sunderland down there we've been there yeah. we've done it yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we what's like it like down there what's it like, we like down there it's a building we, curve I reckon because it's where Leicester went as well we yeah yeah we've all been we've so, all been there so good. and we're still in the championship yeah there you go right moving on then to West Brom I think what I'll do is carries on too long I'll stop it we'll have a break and then we'll carry on because I can join videos together now um, West Brom beat Preston North End 2-0 um, they're just carrying on now Done. I yeah. think I hate to say it um, I think I don't see it them dropping out the top two I don't yeah. see, even if they go on a bad run I don't see them no, dropping enough to no. drop out of the top two because top I think two. like you said earlier on um, the other teams below them aren't picking up enough points <coughs> to catch yeah so. yeah no I think so I think I mean you know I don't think Leeds will. I think Leeds could catch them four yeah. points behind, but I, I think they're, you know, yeah. it's it's fair, you're going to be second again. Oh, God, no yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Houston, just playoffs, I don't want the playoffs. As long as you're not third. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or fourth or third. See you, Wembley. Um, yeah, it's, um, no, I think, I think West Brom, have, they've had a wobble. Yeah. And they've, and they've recovered sooner from their wobble. Their, their last six, they're six points clear yeah. of the chasing pack oh, it, or maybe it's five, five from Fulham so six you know, from Leeds I should have printed the Leeds oh, I printed the Leeds I should have printed the Leeds yeah I think that's, if that's the BBC five. that's the last five games yeah. but they've still got they've got the next best team I think is probably Barnsley 
yeah. 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 yeah, in terms of form. Yeah. yeah. So, I like Bournemouth. Yeah. Yeah. Just want yeah. to talk about the relegation. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Fulham got a much needed win after three games and two draws and a loss. Uh, Swansea's season's drifting off to another. Anything no, to talk? Minute or something. It was, it was, it was, it was didn't, like, and, and didn't. They had a penalty. They had a penalty in the last minute. They missed the penalty by all accounts, and then um, and, and then they scored in the last minute. Yeah, there was a few last minute goals, weren't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full of I think I don't know. I think for me, I wouldn't want to play them in the playoffs because I think they've got it on their day. Mm. The thing is with the playoffs, you don't know what's going to turn up on the day, do you? They say going into the playoffs with four is the best thing, but I, mm. I don't necessarily agree with that. I no, I you don't. Can stop, reset, and go again, can't you? And it's just a bit of. You can I go on that day. I always think it's momentum. I swear, you know, I think, I think Leeds did. Mm. Did what they did last season on the back of. You know, we were second all season. When did Villa finish the in the league last year? Villa, Villa came yeah. late into the. Yeah, when they third and fourth. They yeah, had the big fourth, thing for you guys, didn't yeah. they? Where somebody scored and they shouldn't yeah. have scored and they made yeah. them. But they came, you know, West Brom, and West Brom, you know, dropped. They, they, they dropped to six. Did Villa. they uh, do the right thing last year when they let them score? I think you'd probably say yeah. Yeah. So what you were saying at the time? Yeah. I think I accepted it at the time. Yeah. I mean, they'd stopped, didn't they? Villa had stopped. Yeah. And, uh, because it was I'm not a fan of just kicking the ball out. No, I don't think. I like don't think. Not moving. I don't think they should have kicked. Yeah. I don't think um, necessarily should have kicked the ball out per se, but they stopped because it looked yeah. like he was going to kick yeah. the ball out. Everybody stopped. Yeah. And just carried big, on. So I'm, I'm saying I've always. I think um, to the whistle until yeah, the referee yeah, blows yeah. up. You carry on playing. You yeah. score. That's tough. I think you know. I think. Uh, you know, I didn't complain too much about it afterwards. I mean, it wasn't. If I'd been a Villa fan, I'd have been aggrieved. If, yeah. if that's had, well, it stood. If that yeah. result had stood, then you'd have felt. I don't think we'd have still. I don't still think we'd have gone up. I think. Mm. But anyway, it's, it's, I just it's the question: Is you a Leeds fan? Yeah. History. So um, we've got. To, I'm moving on now to Millwall v Brum. That was uh, Millwall. That was nil nil, weren't it? I think it was, yes. Yeah, nil yeah. nil. And um, apparently a bit of a rubbish game, I think. Um, I think Brum are more interested in playing Leicester in the next well, Wednesday. And did you know did you Why know they've not? not beat they've not been beat since January the first, but yeah. 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 I looked that up before. Yeah, they're they're mid, they're, they're they're mid, table. They're mid table. Are they still right. a question about point deduction though? No, that was last like season. It's no, no, but I thought, it, thought it was all. I thought it'd come back. Yeah, up. Yeah, I yeah, thought it was in his head. There was Birmingham, Chef oh, Wednesday, right, okay. and Derby, isn't there? Yeah, there's still yeah. some issues, isn't there? So they were supposed to reduce their their yeah. expenditure, and they haven't. Yeah, they haven't fallen within the guidelines or done what was Birmingham have drawn the last three games, but they haven't lost since. In fact, it was Wigan beat them on. Yeah, it, it seems Birmingham are more interested in playing in the cup against Leicester now, isn't it? I was talking to a mate at work, and apparently uh, yeah. there's a lot of Birmingham fans coming over that night. Yeah. <laughs> so we got them in the cup on the Wednesday, the fourth of March. God, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Sorry. Isn't the whole round midweek? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's ridiculous. Nah, that's it. It's a well, disgrace, isn't it? It's something to do with this um, yeah. midweek break, isn't it? Uh, mid season break. Yeah, so they just chucked it all in midweek. Yeah. Who have you guys got? Well, we, we, gave, we, we concentrate on the league. <laughs> we <laughs> concentrate on the league. league. It's the cup that matters. You know, yeah. that's, that's the most important thing. Yeah, what Rooney's saying yeah. that. So have you got. Man, you on Thursday. Oh, yeah. oh, right. okay. yeah, so Thursday, that's a traditional. Um, I was going to say, it's yeah, quite a yeah. common theme for Man United now, isn't it? Playing on a Thursday. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Let's hope it continues. Um, Wednesday beat Charlton. Um, anything really to say about that? I know you get these Charlton fans who like. Uh, so, Wednesday have been struggling a bit, haven't they? Yeah. So, I think that when they. Around Christmas time, they were top, top yeah. three or four, were they? Yeah. Certainly top six, yeah. Yeah, no, Gary Monk's. Again, there, but as soon as that. Um, Point deduction thing got really tomorrow. reared its head. It yeah. seemed to have. Well, what's the point? Because if yeah. they get there, yeah, they're not going to have enough clear points, no. are they, to stop no. them from falling in? So all of a sudden, your momentum and yeah. your so drops got, out, doesn't it? They've got nine points from the last ten. Is Bowie still at Charlton? Yeah. 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 Is he doing the job, do you think, lads? I mean, I think a bit hot and cold, I think. I, 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 I don't know, they've not got a great squad, but that striker, is it Lyle Taylor? He's, yeah, he's yeah. something else. I think he's championship quality and he should be at the top 16. Yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm surprised someone hasn't snapped, snapped yeah. him up yet and yeah, didn't. He, he completely destroyed us. And then, what are we doing? I think, was it the goal he scored at the weekend where he brought it in, touched it, spun a player? Looks something else, but he just his work rate as well. Yeah. He's back and yeah. he's yeah. back and forth from their box into the into the opposition. Yeah. Really, really good player. It cracks it. Right. 
the, uh, the Charlton fans, and when Kirbishley were there, they were all moaning when they were not pushing on, and then you look where they are now. Well, who did they replace Kirbishley with? Was it um, um, Pardew? It was pretty much a like for like switch, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Where are Charles? The 18th. Yeah. Oh, they've done well, I think, coming up. Haven't they? And, yeah. And, and, uh, Limited and budget. And, yeah, yeah. So, so now it just cracks me up how the fans like to. Uh, now then, Huddersfield, they had a much needed win over Bristol City and have only won one in their last five. Not really promotion form, is it, for uh, Huddersfield? Well, no. I can see that as their. I can see Two points above the relegation zone. Not Huddersfield, I meant uh, relegation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I think I can see them double dipping. So that well, that's what I meant. Bristol going up and uh, Huddersfield staying up. That really. yeah, sorry, yeah. folks. Well, they've got we've got them two weeks from now, so we play Hull away and then Huddersfield at home. Hull and back. Yeah. And, and uh, I think I think again, I just think those two, three teams at the bottom. Them. Those three teams. <laughs> those three teams at the bottom are well, so close down, down the bottom. Yeah, yeah, well, so it's, it's, it's the teams that have even yeah, Luton have closed the gap yeah, a bit. At one point they looked dead and buried. What, what, what have Luton done? Free. What have Luton done in the last few games? Because they, they uh, beat, beat, Luton have won they beat, uh, they beat three out of their last five. The beat is. Yeah, goes without saying. But, that, yeah. but they've closed that gap, and it's as you say, they're on thirty-three, and what's mm. what's just that twenty-first is that yeah. thirty-seven. So yeah. look, four points. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. Luton have had three wins out of the last five, and um, seeing the highlights, I watched them at Brentford, and Brentford absolutely battered so them, didn't they? But, uh, yeah. But that, I mean, that's Brentford have dropped off, haven't they? Well, like, they have yeah, been getting consistent. It's mm. the thing with this league, you know, because. You know, who's got the easiest running? On paper, Leeds have got the easiest running. But fortunately, you play on grass. <laughs> and, and that's the problem. Mm. And, you, and you look at, you know, Fulham get beat by uh, Barnsley, Leeds get beat by Wigan. Yeah. Just because you're playing the teams at the bottom yeah. doesn't mean you've got the easiest running. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's, you can't call anything no. in that league. In the old days, you could be, like, be sure of a result, couldn't you? But it yeah. just doesn't seem to happen now. Yeah, but you can't figure it out. There's no such thing as a surefire result anymore, is there? There isn't. Still laughing at your awful jam. What joke? They're playing on paper. Oh, they've got it. Yeah, good stuff. I wasn't listening. It's like being back at school. It is. It is like being back at school. Watkins scored again, though, didn't he? Good play. Brentford, he is good play. I think he'll still be there. I think I asked this question last time. I think we, I think we called him out as well, didn't we? We called out the, their front three altogether last time, yeah. didn't we? Um, I think when it comes down to, I think they've got the, to hold on to try and hold on to him to progress, haven't they? Yeah, but they, I think they've, they've got every, all the makings there of being what a good football inside should be. But when the pressure's on them a bit, they seem yeah. to just not have that. Yeah. that Bit to take them I think the, the other chap's more likely to leave than Watkins. I think they'll hold on to Watkins for another season because Leicester was sniffing around. Yeah, the yeah. Dad, weren't they? Yeah. Can't remember Bar- his name. Barinia, yeah, Barinia. Like that. Yeah. I can't remember his name, but I know because I thought, oh, we'll be sniffing around Watkins, but they weren't. I can't remember his name where they were going for, but um, I don't know. I suppose he just put feelers out um, and uh, go from there. And um, no. But Luton did do well, though, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, because I watched the highlights, I know it's the only highlights and you get to see two or three minutes of it, but they look like they were battling like fucked. Well, they are, aren't they? That's yeah. the thing. Well, and, that's, and that's where you, you, that's what you want to see, though. Yeah. You want to see your H- team doing that. Huddersfield can get drawn in because they've yeah. not had to battle for the last few weeks because there's been that big point. I wonder if Nick Owen were there. Back Nick from the old, yeah, the old Good Morning TV. You have to sit <laughs> yeah, there with. Luton fan. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't know, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Eric Nam. Yeah. Yeah. And Diamond. And Diamond. Yeah. Yeah. And Diamond Nick, yeah. yeah. Or you um, could either watch them or got Frank Boff just come back from the uh, sex dungeon. How far back are we going? I tell you what, I can't remember people's names, but Frank Boff in a sex dungeon. They were in the news, weren't they? Was it? Was it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I missed, that. I missed all that. Frank I missed Bob. that episode. Of he Bob's lost stuff. it. Yeah, I think Cocaine. he lost his job. Yeah. 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 I think the so Billy Davis there, because Billy Davis was the same, wasn't he? He got done for that up in Scotland. Did he? No. Yeah, <laughs> with like an MP and like sort BBM of sex talks, fuel. Did, and BBM talks, and talks, sex Paul Jewell, Jewell. Paul Jewell as well. He was, yeah. was a, he was on the front page of the News of the World, I think, when he was a dog. These are all confirmed. I do need to yeah, put yeah, the front page of the News of the World. I, I mean, haven't got business insurance. The News of the World doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah. So let's just call it a red top. That's all stick yeah. to that. But yeah. yeah. Move on. Yeah, yeah moving on. on. Move on. Moving on to Blackburn. Solicitors could be in charge. Blackburn, yeah. I ain't got business insurance yet. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to finish that one there, um, and then I'm going to join it. We'll get a drink, uh, we'll get another drink in, and then... Uh, Who's round is it? Come back. Oh, mine. Yeah. Alright, in a bit.
Right, folks, we're all refueled with beers and ciders and Guinness. Um, so back to part two. Right? I'll have to try and put an advert in there if we can. I don't know. Um, so Blackburn uh, and Stoke, they played a goal as job. I was expecting more from Stoke, to be fair, with them battling for survival, but... Uh, battling hard, they're still kind of struggling a bit. They are struggling. They're not putting um, away. My main man some, Elliot will be shitting in pants. There's some big players there, just not performing. I mean, you, yeah. you think about it, they've got... Is, is, is it still there? I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think he is. And, uh, they are watching in the but then again. So, so we, we played them, well, we beat them 4-0 the other week, and uh, I did think about him as uh, there's a player who's disappointed. His career's gone down yeah, he's it. Yeah. He was uh, He was always that sort of player that floated between top end championship and, yeah, and, yeah, and lower level Premier League. And he was quality. Like, it, 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 it was well, that potentially his, his contract. Stoke, Stoke still playing big money. Yeah. Well, they will, they will yeah. because they signed yeah. him. They signed him to, from Huddersfield to bring him back down to the championship, didn't they? Yeah. So yeah. you know, so so yeah, you know. So I agree. It's, you know, career-wise, he's it, it's playing at the lower end of the. But from being a, a quality player, I mean, he scored. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. He scored 15, 20 goals a season for us. I don't think he's had, he's not replicated. He didn't have a great time at Forest. No, he didn't have a good time at Forest. But I, I, I always thought he had that quality, and he was a player. I remember him playing for Blackpool and, and thinking, yeah, yeah, that player, yeah, well, big, the big fish little yeah, ball though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. it's disappointed, I think. Yeah. And, and it's sad to see that yeah. such I a nice bloke. <laughs> 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 I've got I think, nothing against it. <laughs> I think give O'Neill, though, a close season because he's come in, he's still managing the Northern yeah. Ireland. I think he's, well, he's not going to have a close season, is he? If, um, New York, if he makes it to New York, yeah, they won't be there long. No, no, no. no but are they, oh, they're in the, they're in the in that playoff thing, aren't they? Um, but I think give him time. I think he will get the best out of Stoke because he'll bring his own players, and at the moment he's dealing with what he's inherited. Yeah. And I think that's part I'd like to see Stoke stay up and see mainly because Elliot's my man. And um, well, I think they might make a go of it somehow. Yeah. Well, I still think the bottom three have got a lot to do to yeah. uh, stay up. Well, let's, just, I, let's just have a quick I, no, I, I agree with you, they can bring the other teams yeah. into it, but I still well, think. Have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've got Luton at the bottom, Barnsley on 34, Wigan on 37, Borough on 37, then Stoke on 38, Huddersfield on 39. I don't think anyone, pa- I, I think from sort of Reading down, yeah. I think 16th to 16th place down, all, yeah. everyone's still in the mix now. I, yeah. I, I agree, but I think, you know, over, over, although they're playing well at the moment, in terms of you know, that quality, Barnsley, no. Luton, they're not, they're not good we, sides, are they? No, no, I think no, Barnsley no. are a decent side. You think so? Yeah, they play, they play well. football. Um, and, and they've got some quality in there. I'm, I'm not sure about. I mean, Luton, I don't think have got. They've the got a transfer Wigan. policy where they don't sign over 24s, do they? So Barnes, yeah. So yeah. everyone's got to be under 24 in that screen. So it's like a young team. They give people opportunities, bring them through, give play, bring players from lower leagues, and then they they're well, sort of trying to adopt. A budget, almost like a budget version of Brentford. Well, that will probably really work in the uh, Division One, but it's not working in the Championship, is it? Not at all. No, 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 but I suppose though these players haven't played in the Championship no, before. How much, how much Championship experience have they got in there? No. I mean, it would be good to see them stay up, but I think, yeah. and, and as, as, at the moment, Middlesbrough and Hull form wise. Although Reading again, they've just blown yeah, up. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're they had a really good run. Yeah, they yeah, they had a really good run. Who's their manager? Is Reading. Mark <laughs> Bowen. Yeah. The old is he Mark Hughes' assistant for a long time? Well, yeah. He, he, he came. Good then, he yeah. came. Well, he came in yeah. mid-season or whatever, and he had a really, really good run. They didn't lose yeah, Reading yeah. for a, a long while. And all of a lot of Joseph draws though, weren't they? Yeah, but they've gone about five or six. Really, not. I don't. They might have won one, but they've. Quite poor at the moment. But didn't he appoint himself? Was yeah, he, like the, he was uh, like the director of football again. Yes. He appointed himself. Yeah, exactly. interviewed all the candidates. Oh, We're going to uh, make an internal appointment. <laughs> Me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bar- Barry Fry or somebody, didn't he do? Oh, Barry Fry, oh, yeah. 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 when he was at Peterborough. Yeah. 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 Chair, yeah. was chairman, manager. Pit man, yeah. tea lady, and everything. I think he's still probably there in some capacity. Oh. Isn't he? <laughs> he was character, weren't he? So, uh, so uh, yeah, so basically what I'm saying is. Uh, Stoke battling not to be a Sunderland, I guess. 
thought we'd finish that conversation anyway. Uh, there was a, Wigan, a win for Wigan over Reading. Um, I thought Wigan against Leicester looked quite good in the cup. Although Leicester had like not their strongest side out, I still thought they had a black lad at the back. He, I thought he was fucking brilliant. I can't remember his name. <laughs> that, that, he was that, that, massive. That, 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 he was really good. I thought he looked quite good. But, uh, yeah, so what do you think of that, lad? <laughs> What, the black, Wigan, the black black defender, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, Wigan over Reading. Again. There we go, down there. It's a good result for Wigan. That yeah, yeah. They, are, yeah. they are picking up points again, aren't they? Yeah. They play um, West Brom on uh, Saturday. Wigan. Wigan. Okay. Ooh. At. At the whole thing. Yeah, I can't see them getting much out of that. I can't. I, I don't think they... Well, I like I like them and kind of the way they set up and the way they play. I just they haven't got that quality to win enough games. Yeah. I don't think. You've got like, to say, like Paul Cook. Would, it, would it be worth putting a fiver on Wigan to beat uh, West Brom? It depends if you've got money to burn. <laughs> money to burn. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the five. Okay. <laughs> if you want. You want to, well, what happens? To, if you yeah, want what happens to, if you win? What are you going to give me? I'll pour your money down the drain. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can, you can put it in this drain. <laughs> anyone can beat anyone in this league. Yeah, that's that the is problem. true. Yeah, that that's is it. true. So that's a nail done now for Wigan to win. Yeah. <laughs> right. So what we'll do then? We'll have a quick look at uh, the fixtures tomorrow. <laughs> Nothing major. Um, if we've not mentioned your team, I do apologise. We will try and get you in in the next time. Because we're, are we enjoying this, lads? Mm. So yeah. I'm enjoying the beer. Yeah, I think it's quite good. I'm hoping this will be warm in here. I'm not sure about the comedy. The the yeah. 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 I'm hoping this takes off and this, and then we can get a few people behind the, the scene and, um, <laughs> yeah. you know, a bit like Soccer AM. Are we going to sell tickets? No, no, no. no Are we, so, we yeah. calling this a budget of Soccer AM? Yeah, yeah something saying. like that. Yes. Um, <laughs> So anyway, uh, moving on to the fixtures this weekend, uh, Leeds are at Hull away at the 12.30 kick-off, mate. Are you going? No, no. no. it's TV, TV then, round it. But Leeds on TV, never. Yeah, it's hard, hard to believe, isn't it? But um, yeah, yeah uh, away win. You're going for a away win, well, are you? Well, yeah. yeah. I think it is. I think one all. Yeah. No, we're going to win. Yeah. Yorkshire. Well, we'll be able to the Yorkshire Dole with that, yeah. is it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Pulling Yorkshire. Yeah. yeah. On the side. side. Oh, yeah. East Yorkshire. <laughs> He's riding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cardiff City, they entertain Brentford tomorrow. Uh, do you think Brentford Ent- could... entertain? Well, uh, <laughs> I've never seen Cardiff entertain. Yeah, I, I think um, that was a great result for Forest at Cardiff because uh, they're a good side at home. Mm. We play them in about three, four weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Not, looking, not looking forward to that. Yeah. Well, hopefully, the uh, Cardiff, Cardiff players won't be fighting amongst themselves. Yeah, I don't think Brentford will get anything from that. No. Uh, no. They're not as difficult to play though against as they were under Warnock, are they? No, no. 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 They're, they're the cause they're of our, all of our problems. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah, any Warnock team is horrible. Yeah, they play. are. I don't like Neil Warnock and all that kind of. I do. Don't. Yeah, I don't really this, no, I've said that wrong. I don't like Neil Warnock, but I do like Neil Warnock as a footballing character. Yes. I've got no reason to... We're starting to, to lose those sort of characters. Yeah, also, that's, that's yes, that's it. I've got no reason to wish like him Ho- any harm or anything like that. But it's like Holloway. Yeah. You can't... You, you, you oh, love to hear what... <laughs> but you love to hear what he's got to say, because yeah, it just well, does not make sense. Well, well, Le- put, yes, yeah. and he put Leicester into the bloody Division 1, didn't he? <laughs> so he, he, can, live, he lived around the corner, didn't he? He could yeah. live where he fucking was. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger twat. Um, yeah, yeah, he has. He's got ginger. So I've got oh. no hair, but I'm ginger. Look at the balls, the ginger, mate. Cardiff, Cardiff City, right? So they are a big bogey side for Leeds. Mm. Three 0 up against Cardiff this season. That's when our bad, that's when our bad run started. Yeah. And uh, but also they beat Leeds um, in the FA Cup in the year that um, Woodgate and Bowyer and mm. we blew everything. So, yeah. What year was that? Like, <laughs> 2004. I was going to say I was at uni, so I was all that time. So yeah, the only two. 2004 we went down. No, it was the year we, we was the year we were going to win the league, and we and we got. Sorry. We were top oh, of the league. I missed that. We were top of the league. <laughs> you, 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 you were at school. You were still at school. I was actually right? at uni. Yeah. I was at uni yeah. in Leeds. Yeah. Out on the piss with Robbie Fowler and. Um, well, so, and anyway. Alan Smith. Anyway, they you know they are a bit of a bogey side for us, so. I don't know, so I can say that Cardiff really. Don't like him. <laughs> there you go then. And, and they're 
not English. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, they're not. I don't know. I don't hold that against them. Oh, so we'll, uh, we'll talk about deteriorating quickly. This is what I wanted. It was quite structured last time. We're in deep deep couple. We're introduced in a couple. few points and it just deteriorated. Oh, ironically, not in yeah. Yeah. So Sheffield are, uh, have got you lot tomorrow. Wednesday. On Saturday. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mid table and uh, fight for again. nothing. Yeah. Fight for tenth, isn't it? I mean, hey, it's our, a battle of the points deduction. Our, <laughs> our away record is shocking. Mm. Mm. So what you're saying is, whoever wins and gets them taken away at the end of it. That'd be and, a good uh, idea. <laughs> that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? If you're both in there for points no. deduction, the loser loses well, no, the other team's not, points. We're not going to. Uh, no, I don't think you will. But I um, too just so, then we've got the, the best or joint best home record in, in the division, haven't we? Yeah. And who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? No, it's not with. I mean, Cardiff got a really good home record. Is it with Cardiff? Mm. I don't know. I think it's no, no, no. It's like uh, it's West Brom or West Brom. West Brom. Mm. It's not yeah. Leeds. No, West Brom. I think it might be West. Brom. It's got to be West Brom. They're up there. Yeah. yeah. Well, West Brom have got Wigan tomorrow. We've already got, yeah, yeah so we've had a quick chat about it, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. I, I think, it's I must be, I think, I, I slightly fancy we're going to do that, but is, is, I don't know if I'm confident enough to put a five on it. No, it's not quality, any yeah. yeah. Could be an accumulate know. buster, that could. So, uh, Johnny's just said he's got to put a fiver on you for Wigan to be at West Brom tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> could be an accumulator buster. Uh, that could. So, really got uh, Blackburn v Swansea. That's, uh, <laughs> so, Blackburn, I think, are quite, well, they I mean that that's a kind of those on the verge of the playoffs, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but they're not they're very, they're, they're, that's a loose term, isn't it? London Verge. Yeah, but they they kind of keep winning, Verges, don't they? Being and, on the and verge is being kind. They're almost the dullest team I've seen, yeah. but also kind of really well organised yeah. and they're, they're pulling stuff out there. I wonder what Jack Bad Walker not. would think now if he could come back and see it. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm not sure how to attack it. I'll get a medium like crystal I balls think, uh, and all sorts here. I think, um, I think you'd be upset. I think Black. I mean, Black. I, I saw thought... the Venkis that over. The turkey, the chicken people. Oh, oh that was yeah. good, didn't it? Because I heard they got. I heard they bought Blackburn and didn't realise they could get relegated. They thought it was like some kind of American football team. Oh, it's like where, a franchise. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where you just buy your league yeah, position. Yeah, and that's it. Wow. That was it. Didn't they stick in, pro didn't in protest? They looked like fans were smuggling in proper chickens and not like letting them loose on the pitch at one point. Or something. What a great time, yeah. Black yeah, Black saying, I think, yeah. so Blackburn, when you're not paying attention to their results, you think they're, they're one of the teams that potentially could push themselves into the playoffs. Yeah. But I did look, and I, you've got the current form on your other thing, but I did look, they're, 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 they're very hit and miss. They are very hit and miss. Black, what's their Blackburn, current form? Uh, uh, six. Okay, eight. Eight, so, so they two draws, two wins, two draws, two wins, and a loss yeah. in their last five games. Yeah. So, you know, so I mean, that, there's nobody storming for that. No, 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 no that, that, that's, that's what we keep saying. It. No one seems to want to grab that sort of open opportunity when we're letting yeah. people in. It's yeah. Too much. Yeah, and I refer to it. Our win on Tuesday night against Cardiff has given us breathing space against seventh, which mm. we haven't had. Yeah, yeah. and that's that. That I mean, gives us a bit of a gives me a bit of confidence. Luton have got a confidence. big like six pointer against Stoke tomorrow. Um, would, you, would you can consider it a six pointer? Yeah. I think you've got to at that point. Yeah. They're both in the mix. It, yeah. So, so if Luton pick up points, Luton all of a sudden are dragging uh, themselves uh, closer to Stoke. Well, one point, and mm. Stoke are, are very much firmly in the mix still. Yeah. I'd, I'd fancy Luton in that actually. Mm. On yeah. their current form, but I would as well. I can't, you know. It's, although it's against that sort of game, maybe we should do a little accumulator after all of these and try yeah. and see how well we actually do. Yeah. We and, to, and then. End of season spendos. Yeah. <laughs> if, 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 uh, if look at the sweat coming off his head as you talk about giving away money. <laughs> if Luton do beat, sorry, if Stoke do beat Luton, though, I think you know it's, it's one again one of those ones where Stoke can probably afford to lose and not get relegated. Luton lose that and they yeah, lose the momentum and trap doors open and and, and that gap between them yeah. and the teams that they could yeah. you know so they big ones losing those don't they? Yeah, you know, fair enough. Not yeah. Picking up. No, no. Who's that? Stoke. 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 They're not picking up points. Gonna... It's, yeah, but I think Mark, it's these six pointers, isn't it? Yeah. 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 At the top Stoke and the bottom, you know. two in the last five and lost two and drawn their last one. So there you go. Table. No nope. matches. Donut. Yeah. Um, QPR got Birmingham. Like I said, Birmingham are more worried about playing Leicester. So you would think probably <sighs> I think three QPR. points. I think yeah. QPR. 
I wonder if Birmingham will rest players for their big game. Um, what big game's that? Game. You don't need to <laughs> rest players for Leicester, do you? Have they got enough players to rest? That's the question. Oh, yeah. Be interesting though when Birmingham play because yeah. they've got that young lad, haven't they, at the back that everyone keeps getting linked oh, with yeah. big money. Now, yeah, the key. Is he as good? Yeah, let's see how good he is. Because obviously you'd expect a lot of these, um, a lot of big clubs have got sort of players in these positions and yeah. all of a sudden they're trying to spend big money on this, like yeah. Chelsea, United. Yeah. And he's 16, 16, year, old, yeah. 16 year old and they reckon they're going to put him on 100 grand a week at 16. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I reckon that's I hope they put in a trust for him or something like that. Uh, Fulham have got Preston. Tough game that is. Yeah. That's a draw. Yeah. Uh, Millwall have got Bristol. Yeah, yeah. Is that that's another that couple could on be the table again, though. Again, again, it? again, Bristol needs to start picking up points and start putting a run together if they want to. If they, yeah. if they, if they, they're too inconsistent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they are. They are the next best place team, aren't they? Yeah. They're seventh, I think, Bristol. Yeah. They really need to win that. And the one before, yeah, we've, we've got them. Well, yeah, we'll move that to Mother's Day. That's causing me no end of trouble. Millwall, what, in the league, are... Really? Millwall, Millwall are just ten. Above. I was going to say, they're just... They're not Millwall far Millwall are ten. So, um, so they'd, they'd have the same points as Bristol City if they yeah. beat them. And, that and they them. are... Gary Rower into you know at Millwall they're kind of yeah, but Bristol you know because the game we didn't talk much but Preston and Fulham so whatever the result there if Bristol win is a good yeah. is a good result for Bristol yeah they'll, they'll take points off, off off one of those sides so yeah, so, uh, so Reading v uh, Pedro's second team Barnsley you seem to like them again Six points for them, that is. You were saying Reading could get dragged into they, it. At the moment, they look comfortable, but yeah. Yeah, a couple of results go against them, and they're very much in the bottom. Yeah, yeah they need to win, but you can see Barnsley with Is it Huddersfield yeah. 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 Chapel? Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty much the bottom half look like they're playing yeah. the bottom half. Yeah, quite yeah, a lot. Huddersfield are playing Charlton. Yeah. Uh, and then, well, you guys are playing on Monday night uh, against Borough, um, yeah, Jonathan Woodgate, and you know but they're going to be fighting for it. It's not a place I want to be going on a Monday night <laughs> or any any night. No, no, no. Have you ever been? Have you been to? I drove through Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough. Yeah. I drove through Middlesbrough and I said yeah. um, it's not the best of places. And I had all these Middlesbrough fans oh, well, saying, yeah. "Yeah, you're right." No, <laughs> it's a fantastic. Well, it's a, do you know? Nice, though, it's a nice fantastic people. stadium. Yeah. It just it just lo lost its atmosphere. There's no. Yeah. It just feels very cold and very. I don't think it's because I don't know if it's because it was half empty when I went. It was about ten thousand there. It's yeah, always half empty. Yeah. You were were there against Leeds. Five thousand Leeds fans there. Yeah. yeah, we took we took quite a few last time we went. We went so, many. Make it sound like yeah. we're yeah. living on a way fans. I think they do. You, yeah. you do find that a lot of clubs don't. Mm. You do find a lot of clubs where, where we, I remember going to the Rico and played Coventry and I think there was more Forest fans there than there was actually Coventry fans. Yeah, I can believe it. I can actually believe it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's it, we've just had a quick look at that. Now Pedro wanted to have a chat about the club proposed 20 million salary cap. Now I was hoping we could save this for the next one mate, because yeah, yeah, this yeah. is something that I really want to talk about and proposed uh, salary caps and... Because so I think this should happen in the Premier League as well. So I think there is some I think it's coming into play a little bit. Yeah. So, so this is rather than financial fair play, yeah. which I think is, or whatever they call it, profit is sustainability, yeah. is... It's something you need in in place, yeah. but I don't think it works in the way that it's no, it's not working it's for the championship. And I think and, it also and that, that is partly yeah, due to promotion and relegation. Yes, this is it. Yeah. Money is involved in those yeah. to go up. It means you've got to almost, be, you've got to almost bet and bank on yourself to yeah. go for it because the results. So, it's hundred million pounds. Yeah. So whether a salary cap of twenty million or thirty million or whatever is a better route. I don't know. Yeah. It's interesting. So I think what we'll do is because that's quite a good subject you've brought up there, Pedro. I think what we need to do. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's all right, mate. Uh, we we need to look into this a bit more. Uh, we'll all dig in and find a bit more research out. Let's get some it. stats, don't you? Yeah, stats. Don't you? <laughs> and uh, we'll have a chat about this on the next one. Or oh, we might. Actually to do it as a one-off special. Uh, Salary cap special. Yeah, a BBM Tours <laughs> Championship special, million pound, uh, twenty million pounds. So we, we're all just on one pint for that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that'll be, that's going to be tea, 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 yeah. teas and biscuits for that. Yeah, one. that'll be good. Teas and biscuits. Yeah, I think that's a good, good thing to chat about. Doctor.
Uh, so, folks, uh, this is comes to the end of this uh, BBM Talk for Championship. Uh, I'll put this out on Twitter. If people have got any questions um, that you want to ask or put, you know, thoughts to it, let's go for it. Uh, I did ask before, but uh, I screwed it up because we took a long while to get the next one together. Um, so that's it, lads. Um, anything you want to add to the end of this? Nothing from me. Nothing from you? Nothing from me. No. <laughs> Pedro's from bound to ask someone. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Go um, all right, then, folks. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Later. <laughs> Say bye, boys. Bye.